Guys, my name is Zul from Jeva. Today we're going to be doing some. We're, we're going to be getting values from our MySQL table, our database, and uh, this is a pretty poorly structured video because there's so many ways you can get, you know, values, specific values, and so many different data structures. So I'm going to just try my best to explain it, as uh, it is a little complicated. I have the code that we used. The, the whole MySQL series is a little complicated. I don't even understand most of it. Uh, I mean, like. It's, it's hard to explain most of it but uh, I had the code in the description below make sure to also uh, join our discord at jeva.xyz slash discord and uh, yeah it's fast support and it really just helps us out if you subscribe to and like the video so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go let's let's get Zamp up uh, just so we can run our, uh, our database let's turn on Apache and MySQL just like we set up last video if you don't know um, how to do or set up your database for you know our episodes uh, you have to uh, watch the video before in inserting values so uh, yeah I'll, I'll link that in the description so let's get started with uh, going to our server here by the way uh, no more ugly wallpaper you know my old wallpaper was horrible uh, just gonna just gonna go to our server uh, resources uh, what do we call it we called it MySQL and uh, we're gonna be adding on to what we did last time so uh, let's get right into the server.lua because we're gonna be adding you know, some, we're gonna be adding a lot of stuff just to get it so let me get rid of these comments because I just got this off github uh, yeah, there we go okay um, in here let's uh, so we registered a command that saves so that's basically just gonna insert data into our database this time we're going to uh, let's register a new command you should be familiar now like I always said with registering commands uh, it works both server sided and client sided so we don't have to uh, go through that whole mess of just you know doing it through there and I'm just going to make this big just for you guys not too big though uh, function uh, source and then we're going to use the args uh, yeah and here we're going to end this so in here we're going to just copy uh, up here because we're just going to be concatenating the string, the arg string. If you don't know why it does that, I think our server events video teaches that. But it basically outputs a uh, table for when, whenever you use the arguments in a chat. It basically uh, outputs it in a table, so we're just going to concatenate it to make it an argument string. Just a simple little string. So in here, let's do uh, mysql.async. Uh, fetch all so we're getting fetch all and X you can also do execute I don't know why I did fetch all but it works with inserting somehow it's really weird but uh, yeah so in here we're gonna select this is a bit of SQL too we're querying it from our database so we're gonna select from uh, main which is our database table and we're gonna order it by um, ID and then descending uh, limit one uh, basically this just really means that we're gonna be getting uh, the last value that was saved into the database uh, just like I said you can there's so many ways in getting you know database values like I know in uh, ES ES extended or uh, ESX uh, they structure the database when it's when someone new joins the server they insert it and then never insert them again or else it, it's it's actually kind of like sophisticated it's really good but uh, we're doing simple stuff here, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. So in here, just like how we have a parameter right after here with an array, we don't really need to do anything because we're not inserting anything, we're not defining anything. All we're doing is just getting it. So we're gonna have an empty table here, and then we're gonna add a new parameter, and it'll uh, it'll be the callback. So function, uh, we're, 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 yeah, we're gonna call back a function result just so we can get the result back. Yeah, so in here we're going to trigger the output event. Now I'm pretty sure I, um, I don't know if I can see it, but I can check. But, uh, okay I did. Let me get up version. Uh, so now we're going to tr trigger a uh, client event here. So I'm going to go to our client.lua and uh, that's already set up. Never mind, I thought, thought it was something else. So let's, let's do that. Trigger client event. So basically this client event is just chat messaging, it's going to output 
uh, whatever we want it to say through this argument. So we're going to trigger the client event of output, because that's what we registered it as. And then we're also going to screw it to the source, which is the person that requested it. Then in here, we're going to have our parameters. So um, this part, uh, it, I, the way I wrote it is really like bad. So I just want you to understand how it outputs this data. So I'm going to do, um, just like I did it from GitHub uh, 3, this just, I'm adding colors just so you can, if you have like a carrot and then a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that goes from like RGB, or it just goes from like the rainbow main colors, so you can have fun with that. I, in testing, I, I just put a 3 here just so it, it kind of organizes the data when it gets outputted. In fact, I'm just going to make a new variable instead just so I don't have a long line. I'm going to call it local string is equal to uh, what we had. So in here, we're going to uh, we're gonna be joining the string with a result. And it's outputting as a table. So we're going to have to get the first part of that table and then dot name. Uh, it's kind of hard to understand how this data parses. You're probably, if you don't understand like why we do that, you're probably going to need a printout like result, but you know since Lua is Lua, uh, it'll it'll just uh, dump out the address of where that uh, table is located. So you're probably going to need a dump, use a dump function to find out. But you know that's a lot of work. So uh, yeah, so uh, this is just how it gets uh, result. It, it just outputs it as the first one. So you know the first one and then dot name because we have those three little arguments. In fact, I'm going to open up our database here actually to admin and I'm going to show you just in case you guys don't remember uh, yikes uh, 5m main all right so yeah uh, in there so we have the ID name in our just disregard that um, in here let's type in so let's let's keep this going so we have the name inside parentheses with the color of I think that's blue or something or red I don't remember so we're going to join that string back with a closing parentheses. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it because it looks a lot nicer. And then in here, we're going to do, um, uh, it's going to have a hyphen saying, and then, a, and then a value of eight, which is, I think, teal. I don't really remember. I honestly, yeah, whatever. And then we're going to join this with result um, one dot ID, which is our Steam ID, actually. So, uh, yeah. Um, in the last episode, I just typed in source for this one. I did not type in get player identifiers because I completely just skipped that part over, and uh, I thought I thought it was just gonna work out, but it didn't. So just change that from last episode, and uh, you know then run your thing, and it should start out putting your Steam ID, which is mine right there. So result one, I don't know why I did that. Well, one that ID, and then I'm gonna join the string back. which is white and then it's gonna say what I said it what the argument that I made it so results uh, one dot args and uh, let's close that parentheses I'm gonna put this in a big parentheses just so it like makes it look a lot more organized so yeah now we could type in string or you can literally you can also just um, you can just literally copy that if you want. Go ahead. Uh, I, I just did that. Oops. Whatever. So uh, now that should really work. We gotta. We okay. We did end the function. Um, so yeah, let's let's uh, let's run this. Um, I think that's. I thought there's more. Uh, I guess that's it. I guess we we already went through the database structure. So if you haven't, if you don't know how to like do that, make sure to check out the last video. It's really important. So we're going to start the server, uh, should I have MySQL, oops, we had a little error here, a comma, um, 13, let's see. Um, what did it say? Uh, syntax error, server 13, let's see.
Oh. Wait, no, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Alright, so you need to, you, I forgot to close that, that's why that makes sense. So you take out that parentheses there and put it back on the, like, the end of that callback, so, my bad. So now we should just restart my SQL. Outformed, I probably messed that up, so yeah, right here, oops, dot arcs. And then that should just be it. I'm gonna just close it. Okay, yeah, whatever, we'll, we'll get rid of that. Alright, yeah. God, I'm really bad at this. Alright, I'm gonna restart. Please, no errors. There we go. Alright, okay, I'll see you guys in the server. Alright, so I'm in my server here. Uh, I'm gonna do slash save just so, you know, a little refresh. Uh, A. Okay, so that should be the latest in our database here. Um, where is that? That's our database. So it should come up. Right there. Hey. Okay, so if we do slash get, um, it should, uh, it should, yeah, that there's the latest one. So, I, like I was saying about the colors, uh, that's that's yellow, that's um, red, and it shows up my Steam ID and my name and then the argument. So, that's kind of like what that was all for. And uh, I also, I wrote in, you don't even need this arg string because apparently uh, we don't even use it. I don't know what I was thinking when I wrote that, but yeah. So, it basically selected from the last one. So, if you do slash save, uh, or slash save uh, yes yes and then uh, you do slash get it'll do the last one by the last player and then the steam id just so how you guys know um how that works out in the steam id so that's basically getting it from your database um there's so much more in mysql than just this we're kind of just scratching the surface on this there's so much so many like possibilities you can do which is why frameworks uh, they do a good job or decent job in optimizing you know mysql this resource in uh, making their players and making it really easy for people to set up with those sql files but this is from scratch i hope you guys enjoyed the video if it you know made you learn anything or helped you in any way shape or form subscribe um if you're also seeing this uh yeah just just join our discord uh like the video and uh yeah see you guys